everyone so I am going to show you guys how I modify my pacifiers I'm sure this is the way most people do it I go ahead and show you um, the pacifiers I have already modified for this baby the Robin baby that was sent to me um, to modify I already have a magnet in her um, inside of the head for the pacifiers I'm gonna show you what uh, these ones look like on her now that they're modified so Here's the princess crown one. This one is modified too. These are the pacifiers that her mommy sent. And I told her she can send me some pacifiers so that I can modify in order to make up for the fact that she had to send her back to me to get her magnetized. So that was a Care Bear one. It's a flower one. And that one is magnetized. One that says princess. And I have already magnetized this one too. Look one and that I have already magnetized as well then I have these other three one these other three that um, I need to magnetize so um, I'm going to show you how to cut the nipple and magnetize the pacifier so I take my exacto knife and I cut as close to the base as possible of the pacifier and um, I just cut the nipple right off. Sometimes the nipples um, are hard to cut off sometimes, but for I like these ones because they're so easy to cut off. And sometimes, um, if, there, if it's just hanging by a little bit, I just go ahead and I pull it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on these other pacifiers. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward that. now that um, the pacifiers are ready to be magnetized I'm gonna go ahead and grab my magnets and um, take three magnets and make sure when you set them down they're not close to each other because um, they easily get back together then I'm going to take my choice of glue I like to use e6000 um, I know some people don't like to use it because of the fumes and all that stuff so um, I've seen other people use uh, hot glue so whatever works best for you I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of glue to the middle of the pacifier or where I need to place my magnet and then I go ahead and close the glue. I'm going to take my head and I'm going to um, see what side the, uh, the magnet needs to be placed. So um, because she has an open mouth and I don't want the magnet to go inside the, oops, <laughs> go inside the mouth. Oh my gosh, I did it. Ah. She's eating it! There's actually a magnet already in there. I got I got it in there earlier and I need to take it out. But I also noticed that it helps with the pacifiers and it's a little bit stronger, the, the magnetic force. This is hard to pull out. Let's see if this works. Ah, ooh, I got both out. So <laughs> let's try this again. So I just placed my finger here because um, I don't want the magnet to go back in like it just did. Force of the magnet that's already inside of the head is strong. That's why the magnet is not falling off my finger. So I know that um, the side of the magnet that's touching my finger is the is what wants to magnetize to the magnet that's inside of the head. So I know that this is the side 
that I'm touching right now, this is the side that I need to glue onto the mat, um, onto the pacifier. So this is the side that has to get glued on the pacifier. I'm gonna take my pacifier and then just glue it on here like that. Once you place the magnet in onto your pacifier, I recommend to just let it dry overnight just so that um, you know for sure the magnet is not gonna fall off the pacifier when you put it on the baby. So I would suggest just waiting overnight. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same for the other pacifiers. So now all of the pacifiers, this one is actually mine, um, are, all of the pacifiers are modified and they are just waiting around to be dried and then she'll be ready to head home. So um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions or would like to know anything else feel free to leave it in the comments and I will happily answer your question or if I feel like I need to make a video I can do that too so thank you and bye